Greetings, salutations to another day of the RFWL Report. I'm Bat Donsky, Bear, not here, but I'm going to do some perfect team. Let's do our perfect team for 2023 as this just dropped today. Looks like I got some bonus packs actually, which is kind of nice. I like to often be the Castle Guard River Kings. Just uh, to reflect a little bit about where I am and what I do. So there's casting our River Kings. We'll submit for our team. Oh, we gotta open my packs first. Let's see if I get anything good this time around. Ooh, Kevin Pillar, defensive. Okay, maybe maybe a little bit here. Could be some things to play with. It's ground ball pitchers, that's reasonably fun. I remember this guy when he was a, an outfielder. It was like a must-have from the management team that traded Roy Halliday. <clears throat> Matt Wise. Trevino. Trevino's pretty good. He's really good defensively. That's going to be nice. A nice get early on. <clears throat> I'm kind of digging this new animation, actually, that it's, it just kind of fires it out there. It just puts it out there instead of making me look at them one at a time. A little bit of lag between each one. David Phelps, a little bit of, uh, could be my best reliever so far. Oh, Esteban Loiza. I'm a Jays fan, so this is a dirty name for me, but. Ooh, ooh. I like these old timey cards. Look at these. Glorious day. Gary DeSarcina. That's not a bad defender. That's not a bad defender for a 62. <coughs> I'm getting lots of uh, adequate defenders. This is pretty good too. 82 defense. I'm gonna look for some guys that can avoid K's who stay with the meta. Ooh, okay. Some more relievers. Rafael Montero. Got Scott Brosius. Another good glove. Not the best bat in all the land, but. So we got Benji Molina. Love the Molinas. Oh. Let's F and go. Future legend. Look at that. That's a sexy looking card. Jack Lighter. I feel like he's the son of uh, Jay's great Al Lighter. Kyle Gibson. Ernie Clement. Another glove first. Kind of utility type of guy. All right. That's it for my starter packs. But I got some bonuses here. So let's take a look what else we got. Travis Darno, another part of the Roy Holiday trade. It's like the game's just teasing me at this point. Okay, interesting enough. 2019, just a 56. Overall, this is not the greatest pack I've ever gotten. Justin Wilson's probably a fair, reasonable reliever at this point in the game. Relief all the time, baby. That's that's my team. It's, I'm building a bullpen first. Uh, Magius, okay. He's got a little bit of a bat for a catcher. That's all right. Another reliever. Another reliever. I think he's a ground ball guy. So that could that could work out okay. Ancient pitcher. <laughs> okay, okay. Nothing amazing. I can handle that. I can handle that. I think he's a very super good contact hitter. Very high avoid case. That could be some fun, I think, for this for uh, especially to start. He's going to be amazing. Uh, Bob Bailey, really good hitter too. Actually, could play a few positions. I'm I'm happy to get this one. This is good. And because it's not a live card, it's not going to fluctuate like Luis Arias here. If he has a bad month, he's going to drop his contact or he's going to drop his eye. Um, could drop his defense. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that. But like this, that's a nice piece to start with. Uh, Mikhail Franco, <laughs> Brian Shaw, another reliever. Good movement starter, but like the control is pretty weak. I'll have to see his pitches later. This is gonna be a flexible guy. <laughs> you can tell I'm still sick, hey? Kyle Farmer could be some fun. He's not a bad glove guy. He plays a bunch of positions. Let's see what else I can. Another story. 
Clark, that's a that's a starter. That's a that's a junk baller. Look at the movement and control. No stuff though. That could be fun though. We'll see how he handles in the new sim. Another reliever. Movement starter. Glove first. Middle infielder. Another kind of low tier control guy. The human rain delay himself, Jason Fraser. This is the era of Jay's baseball that I remember most acutely. Beyond the current, obviously, and uh, Jason Fraser was a part of that. He used to take so long between pitches. Here we go. Let's go. Oh. That was that was effusive. That was fun. That was a lot of explosions. Uh, this dude, Aquino, <laughs> the Terminator. I don't think we're going to be using him. He's probably got like three in avoid Ks. He's getting struck out real bad. But Don Mattingly, that'll play. That'll play. Or or I could probably sell him for a ton. Yankees and Red Sox, Dodgers, like the big market teams, their players are always inflated huge. So like I'm pretty stoked to get this. Kyle Lewis, I'm a big Kyle Lewis believer. He's not the best bat in the land, but like he's, he's a really good fielder. He's a fun player to watch. Probably doesn't have the avoid K to be on my team very long, but he could be good to start at least as a glove first type of guy. I was using uh, Andrew Jones for a long period in 22. And again, didn't have great avoid K, but he won a gold glove every season. So uh, I might be using him in a similar way. Bat him seventh or something like that. Steal a couple bases. Be good defensively. Matt Brash. Another Mejia. Mercedes. He's kind of like a worse Buck Farmer, eh? Or not Buck Farmer, Kyle Farmer. I'm okay with this, though. And last. All right. The Orioles kind of suck, but there we go. Trash birds. We got here. Eric Anthony. Ramos Garcia. Lucius Fox. Just literally back up to your guys. Ronald Acuna Jr. I can... That, that'll play. That's nice. I think he's probably a pretty good fielder, pretty good runner. Because if you look, he's 98, but the, the ratings off the top don't look amazing. We've got Alex Ferguson here. Let's see where we're going. All right. Let's manage this roster. Hmm. I'm going to move a bunch of these guys off. Does that punish me at all? Not yet, no. Beautiful. So I'm going to move a bunch of the guys off that I don't know that I'm using yet. Chasin, Jackson, Phelps, Reyes, Wise, Montero. I think Montero's probably going to make this team. Probably a safe bet. Newt Allen. That's fun. He was good last year, too. Not the best avoid case, but, like, this will play. This will definitely play. At least not the star, right? All right. Let's continue to clear these guys out of here. Nope. That's what I want to keep. All right. So what do we got here? Acuna. Oh, Nice. Oh, yeah, they, put the, they changed the place of the avoid case. What is going on here? Okay, Babbitt at the top now. Oh, boy. But, yeah, I think uh, that'll definitely play. Right? He's, he's on our team. Mattingly. Ah, oh, it's some good avoid K, especially versus righties. Never going to take a walk, but I'm okay with that. I'm going to set this guy to a really friend. I think Hendricks is probably our, our closer here. Yeah. Looks like it. I think Bob Bailey's our third baseman. We're going to put him in there too. Justin Wilson will be one of our two setup guys to start, it looks like. Kyle Lewis. Hmm. Louise. Not the greatest outfielder, hey? Hmm. I 
has some decisions to make, I think, early on. But like, he's obviously going to make the team. <coughs> I think to start, I might use him in left field. Rely on Kyle Lewis's uh, plus range to carry the day. There you go. Not a, not a great avoid K. Um, decent contact, some high, some power. Like, I can live with this. This is all right. <coughs> Let's find some starters. We've got um, Lighter and uh, Strinkovich Jumbo at the top of it. That's a big sinker ball energy there. I think probably Louisa. Uh, <coughs> Here's where he got traded for Michael Young. Yay. It's adequate for a couple of years with the Jays and then amazing with the White Sox. Yeah, it feels good. It feels real good. I guess he, I got no choice here. I guess Wayne Miley will round out my rotation to start. Yikes. So I've got like... Yeah. I've got a lot of ground ball guys there. Montero's a ground ball guy. Wilson's normal. Hendricks is a fly ball, so that'll... But it should be uh, pretty important for me to find a viable shortstop. Got a good starting catcher for now. I've got my starting five. Let's see what I can come up with here for the relievers. Yeah, I think Phelps makes his team. Matt Wise might not. I don't love that. Lavino. Probably need some left handers, eh? Got one lefty. This might be our guy. Power lefty. Yikes, no thanks. Same guy. <laughs> so let's uh, toss. We're tossing him. I don't want to see him again. I don't think we're going to need any of these types either. But we'll see. So what do we got for relievers? One, two, three, four, five. Ottavino, I guess, makes the team by default. Sweet. Matt Brash, maybe? Maybe Matt Brash. He'd be a long man or something. Yeah, let's use Matt Brash. I honestly, I don't think Matt Wise is good enough to play above this guy. Here we go. Three. Oh, really? Oh, it's because I... There we go. Got enough relievers. Three, six, seven. That doesn't look half bad. All right, so we got Bob Bailey. That's not bad. I'm going to use him at third base. That's the best place for him, I think. Unless... Yeah, the infield arm isn't good enough for me to play him at third. It's not good in left field either, but like... Travis Darno. Not terrible. I might use him just because he's got a little bit more flexibility position-wise. We'll see, though. Molina might be my guy. I think that's probably it. He's got 74 catcher ability, 74 avoid K. Like we're just looking at a backup catcher, right? Let's do that. <clears throat> Excellent. Let's find our, that might be our shortstop right there. Dick Bartell. Yeah, I like I like Farmer more as like a backup infielder, but I think Dick Bartell. Oh, Di Sarcina. Hmm. That 
does not seem bad at all. Defense. Yeah, see, like, Bartel's a little bit better defensively, but, like, I like the bat plays a lot better for D. Sarcina. Let's use him as our starter for now. Can always change back later. Okay. Oh, Brosius plays a bunch of different positions, too. Could probably use him as a, as a backup as well. That utility guy. It's not a terrible outfielder. Again, we're grading on a curve, right? Like, probably need a guy who can play center field as a backup. Oh, I don't hate this either. Plays all those positions. I could be getting thrown off by that they now include, well, he's got 24 in that. They now include all the positions that you could be good at. I think we're gonna use Heathcote. Heathcote as a backup. And we might bring this guy just to have some more flexibility in our roster decisions. Let's take a look. Woof. Gibson doesn't look amazing. Set up. I'm going to do a traditional kind of relief setup here. No splits, eh? Not bad. Long relief. He looks pretty good, though, David Phelps. Let's see if Wilson has splits. We might move him now. I like having a lefty and a righty setup, man. I think Phelps is the guy we're going to say use more often. <coughs> hmm. It's a real ugly back half of the rotation, hey? That's it's probably okay. Maybe we add another reliever. Do we have another guy that we can add easily? Maybe like Alex Reyes? Hmm. This could be fun as a long man. Let's do that. Done. Oops. Long relief. set up. Yikes. My man's gonna hit in some double play balls. You know it, I know it. Hmm. Do we actually plan out having a designated hitter? Bob Bailey, our designated hitter? <laughs> Heathcote might actually be our best bet on leadoff. Because if you look, his eye isn't amazing, but he's got good BABEP. Contact, gap, void case, he's fast. He's a good defender. Like, I wonder if we just turn this guy into a DH for now. Because I don't think he's gonna, he's not better defensively than. So why don't we do that? We'll DH him. Hmm. I 
think Heath Club is definitely the guy we're going to play in center field. We'll probably play him right and him left. Let's take a look at this. We got a couple faster runners. Newt Allen is impressively fast. This might actually be our true leadoff guy, Newt. We're building our boomer lineup a little bit here, the way that we're doing it. Power, I, I don't know about that, right? The lineup seems to lack some power, but I think that's all we can do about it. <clears throat> I'll throw these guys at the top of the lineup. Hopefully they will make problems for other pitchers. sense of actually watching baseball with shifts but I like it as a as a technique it seems to be effective if it weren't effective they wouldn't be talking about banning it like our bullpen's pretty good I sometimes like to play with the hook if my bullpen is good but my starters are I'll tinker with that I don't think I want my guys to be pulled out of super often just reset that a little bit just as a basic kind of idea of what we're doing. Oh, I messed that up by reducing the mouse wheel. Didn't know that would do that. Just let it degenerate our every second game. Get real. As an injury replacement, as a, as a fatigue replacement, there's no way this dude should be playing above Bob Bailey at the hot corner. I don't know why we'd use Bob Bailey as a defensive sub. I don't like that. Yeah, that's not a good idea. I don't think Kyle Lewis is really suitable as a defensive sub either. Like, what are we doing here? They're, they're good defenders. It's Honestly, it's probably basing it off of the rating right now, but as they play, that rating will climb. There we go. Well, we'll see how this one goes, but that's uh, how we started for Out of the Park Baseball 23's Perfect Team Mode. It's a mode that I played a lot for Out of the Park Baseball 22, and I'm looking forward to where we go with 23 and the new modeling, some of the new cards. I'm going to be looking into some of the missions and trying to get some of those objectives done. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do in the future with this. Next time I will sound probably a little bit better as I won't be sneezing, coughing, and uh, blowing my nose in the microphone. Godspeed, and we'll see you next time.